I'd like to walk you through the procedure for mixing and degassing some Plat 55. Plat 55 is our uh, 10 to 1 mix ratio by weight, platinum, silicone, rubber. It's a real high durometer and it's really, really thick when you mix it. It's just the nature of the beast for this product. So it's very important, especially if you have the capability, we highly re recommend vacuuming the silicone. What we do when we vacuum it is after we have it completely mixed in the mix bucket, we put it in a vacuum chamber and put negative air pressure on it. This causes the small air bubbles that we've mixed in to become large, float to the top, and evacuate or pop. Once we have the air out of it, then we can go ahead and pour our piece or our mold. Uh, in this case, we're, we're making a mold of some scrimshaw pieces with some very, very high detail. That's why it's important to get the air bubbles out of it. Take a look. Let's see how we do it. When you put mixed silicone under vacuum, the bubbles immediately begin to expand and grow in size. When this happens, the entire liquid volume of the silicone will rise. It's a crucial step to make sure the silicone collapses under full vacuum to make sure you've pulled all the air bubbles out of the mixed silicone. If you need to open the valve to ensure the silicone doesn't flow over top of the bucket, go ahead and do so as many times as needed until the silicone collapses under full vacuum. Then allow it to continue to degas for another 30 to 45 seconds before removing it from the vacuum. Degassing the silicone ensures you have bubble free material going into your mold box. You can still pick up air, but it's much less likely that you'll have air entrapment against your part. This process works for all silicones and is also used for some urethanes. If you have specific questions on how vacuum can help your process and help your molds, please call us.